Okay, here's our another leg series, okay? Uh, again, I'm using Tara. Tara's never done a lot of this stuff, so I want to show you the things that you might do wrong, and it's great to use a mother of three, right? Mother okay. of three. So she's going to show you exactly how she got in shape and how we're going to use some of these moves uh, for you, all right? So we're going to kick the bag. If you don't have a bag, uh, then you should probably get one because those will last forever and they really have resistance to everything you do and I'm going to show you some boxing technique to actually uh, you know burn off fat and actually really work your arms and your legs but today we're going to show a quick and easy uh, kick that you can do at home that's going to be really easy to learn and fast okay so the key here is really I want to be in a, a boxing stance I mean a fighting stance a little wider than a boxing stance but for you, I'm gonna have you just stay right, just like a sideline right here. So it's very easy for you to actually move. So I'm gonna get enough from the back, I'm gonna step, I'm gonna step right behind that foot. So step, step, and then I'm gonna bring my leg up. So I'm gonna chamber it like this, and I'm gonna actually reach for the ground just to learn. So I'm gonna step, step, kick, okay? Step, step, kick. I'm gonna kick with the heel, step, step, kick. Then back. Okay, and as you get good, you're going to bounce. So step, step, bounce. Okay, step, step, bounce. But now we're not going to kick it really hard, but I want you to really push through and bring it back. The key is to straighten it out at the end and use your butt. Bang. Okay, like that. With your heel. Kick it with the heel, come back. Kick with the heel, come back. All right? So, Tara, let me uh, just push this up. So this will move, this is filled with sand, okay? You wanna stay right in the middle of the bag. So, tie you right in the middle of the bag. So you're gonna step back foot to the front foot and see where you're at. Good, you wanna come up a little, yep. Good, just like that, so start from there, ready? Step, good, I want you to reach for the ground pretty much as you kick it. Step, yep, reach for the ground as you kick it. Step, yep, so reach. That's going to get it high. There you go. That's it. She's doing great for the first time. Good. Step. Again, the heel. Step. Yep. Good. Step. Yep. Make sure to drive through. Reach for that ground. Good. Reach for that ground over there. Bang. Yep. Reach for the bottom. Yep. You can actually reach and that will help you go up there. Okay. Reach. Yep. Good. Good. Excellent. Good. Now throw a bounce in them. So you're going to throw on both your feet. Let's try that. So try that. Ready? Step up. Bang. Yep. Don't cross your feet. Bounce. Step. Bang. Yep. So we're going to bounce twice. One, two, step in. There you go. One, two, step in. Good. Okay. So the other leg. Good. Now one leg might be harder than the other. Okay. So again, step in. Take your time. So step, step, boom. Make sure you make those steps. Step, step. Good. Yep. Step, step. Good. Yep. Straighten that leg out. That's kicking. Step, step. Good. Good. Step, step. Good. Step, step. Good. Excellent. Step, step. And good. So you don't get those. Okay. So that's the thing you want to do. So you can add this in if you want. Step, step. Squat down. Step, step. Squat down. Okay. If you want to add that in, that's fine. But we're gonna go. We're gonna make it fast. Okay. So. It's Boom, in, in, out, boom, in and out, okay? So you really wanna, again, the key is to straighten that leg out, bring it back. Straighten that leg out, bring it back, all right? So then we're gonna jump rope. Jump. On the jump rope, just gonna keep your elbows in, yep. Use most of the wrist. If you're good at it, you can run with it. If you can't do jump rope, you're gonna jump at jacks with a fist. Or you can just pretend you jump rope, okay? And just step, step, or shuffle, which is really good, okay? Again, on the program, I'll tell you exactly how to do it. All right, and then you can pick it up, make it a little faster. Now, the key also is, when you're first learning, kind of let your heels hit the ground. If you stay up on your toe, you're gonna hurt your, it's a uh, ligament that comes around, your belly roll, it's what's bone on the outside and inside, you can really hurt those, so you gotta watch out, right? And your Achilles. And good, excellent. Yep, right from there. We're gonna do uh, a uh, skate. On the skate, we're gonna start from here. We're gonna push over all the weight, comes off that heel, and just bring it over like that. I don't want you to go like this. 
When you do that, it brings all the weight off your, uh, your thigh and goes on your hip. So we're just gonna go back and forth and keep your butt down, your hips down, okay? So let's try it. So get low first, start low. Yeah, so start here, like this, feet together, okay? Bring your head forward, head forward, so your butt's back. So then come over and don't lose that, okay? Yeah, lean forward even more. Yep, reach for the ground into one. Good. One hand. Yep, so go like this. One, two, yep, three, four, five. Pushing off the heel, not the toe. Yep, yep, good. Good, you can keep your hands here too. If you don't know what to do with your hands, good. Stay low, low, okay? A little more, see? See you feel the glutes a little more? Good, now you're getting that squat in. Good job. And you push it. Again, we're just going to do a small range here, but we'll add uh, more weight and uh, more time as we go. Here we go, push. Okay, grab the tens. We're going to do a reverse. Stand right here. Yep, feet like this. We're going to reverse lunge with a kick. So the key here is not to go like this. Okay, I see a lot of even so-called expert trainers showing that. That's not the way it goes. It goes feet like this, not like this. Whenever you do a lunge, okay, you don't want to walk like Pee Wee Herman. You want to walk feet right under your hips, okay? Just lunge back, and then you're going to bring your knee up, and then kick. Knee up, and kick. Knee up, and kick, okay? So, yep, go a little more forward. Again, you can do that to the bag, too. So if you have a bag, you can do it to the bag. If not, you're going to go back, yep, and kick. Good. So let's have the knee up, and then kick. Yep, with the heel, or the balls of the foot. Good. Okay, switch to the other side. Make sure, again, this knee doesn't drive over the toe, like this. So you're coming back. Yep, perfect. Your knee up, and kick. Knee up, and kick. The other thing you want to do on lunge is always make sure those weights are angled back towards your butt. You don't want to go forward like this. And good. So you don't want to be like this, okay? Even on a walking lunge, all right? So let's do this. You're going to go back, kick, back, and kick, okay? So let's just show that. So uh, again, you got to stand right in the middle, yep? So back, kick, yep? So come along forward and kick, good. Lean back as you're kicking, yep? Again, you want to lean back as you're kicking. So up, kick, so up, kick. You got to throw that, yeah, that's it. Throw that foot forward, kick, yep? Lean back like you're thrusting back. Back, three, two, and one. Good job. Okay, five burpees and you're done. You guys will be done when you see the program that I write, okay? One, breathe out. Try to keep your feet separate when you land. Good, two, good, like squat, yep. Three, good. I have people go all the way down to their chest because it's less prone to hurt their back. You don't want to arch. Four. One more, and breathe out, and five. Great job. We'll see you next time.